Hello, this is Marvin from Team 6 n 5 c and this is another log video. So first you can see the changes we've made to our lift. You can see this rubber band here. We made it... We put it off the this bar so it's more of an tr equilateral triangle. Uh, we did this where we put the this bar inside here and stand it off here so it can still go up and down and with here I decided to move the motor from here to here as it's still one to five and then I put this idle gear down here that powers the pot and I added a fourth one and I just in general fix all of this up so it's pretty smooth now and yeah we have so with the With over here, I made a 1 to 3 with this just being an idle gear. And I was trying to make this with a screw. However, in the end, I think I'm just going to switch to high strain because this really isn't working. Because the problem is, when we're using regular shafts, it would always, like, with the weight of the cap, it would always, like, slop down a bit. So I want to use high strain to try to fix that since it this is like the only place that's supporting the cap so you want something really strong right there and i think that's about it um we are testing some drive pid out earlier and so i know you guys some of you guys have been asking why i did this and i guess yes it's sort of a bad idea but i had this one thought of tr wanting to uh, make a transmission that would power the lift and the puncher. So instead of two motor, instead of one motor on each, it's two motors on each. They just won't go at the same time as this transmission right here. So it, I would use the four bar motion to lift the lift, and then when it would just go when it would just turn straight without moving, then I would want to power the puncher. And the only way to do that is if this if this axle wasn't moving, and that's why I decided to put put it right there. And yeah, but it doesn't seem like we need it because the lift seems to be working fine, even with a three nine three motor, one of them, and the puncher. Uh, it doesn't. Sh well, they should be able to shoot far enough with uh, the uh, V5 motor. It's just not shooting as far as we hoped uh, with just one 393 motor powered 1 to 3. And yeah, that's about it for this video.